the older side, so I'm assuming probably didn't want to go for someone who isn't quite so sprightly. But now engaged with the jump through. Ariel's found one, looking for two, and will have the opportunity, though not capitalized upon yet. Switches sides, and he will be forced to contend with the garage player, who is trying to isolate him, but Gustav and X7 oh. are dominating in the meanwhile. Yeah, they're down towards events, and Ariel's picked off the player that tried to siphon those rotations. So now Fletch left in the clutch, a one on three to try and bring things forward. And this is going to be a tall order. 24 HP to his name, and not too much that he can really do about that. Yeah, Ariel taking the wide swing, realizing as well that that player was tagged up. That fight that we saw with Ariel earlier on playing a massive impact in that particular instance. And he seals it off with a 3k on the side of Ariel. So already one of the players that we kind of have our eyes and attention drawn to here on working with limited utility. Facility, so keep an eye on where those smokes do land here for 77 and Ariel again another kill towards outside Fletch looking the wrong direction that's one of the rifles dropped already oh sorry no fun rider this uh, could be foreshadowing of what is to come Ariel that's a very good idea of oh. where Mickey is as well the awareness Ooh. of this man is fantastic and the aim is even better Keeps it going, AK picked up, Fibbo, 1 HP, and there's only one player who's ready to tend with, it is X7. No, no, Slowy, my bad. Nuke, radar, not uh, very nice to people. Slowy will get taken down. Station siphoned off, so no more players can go down the vents without his knowledge. Zori, that off angle, it is going to be cleared. Really good awareness there from 777, bringing it into a 5 on 3. They need to deal with these players towards that A site, though. Good protocol coming out for them to, so far, but they need to fight here. You've got him, oh. you what a spray with the MP9 as he backs off and Lobby will be his demise. Fibbo finds him finally and X7 is on the clutch. Every single player has been tagged up substantially. So X7, this is doable, but let's not forget that although he looks good, it can be a fickle beast. But X7, he's just a beast. Moving in. Wants to clutch this one out or at least, but oh my god, oh. he's on point with it as well, but doesn't quite finish the spray, only gets the damage. Will now be double swung on Mickey and Fibo will have been slightly like traumatized by that one. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not go back here. <laughs> oh. oh! Errol's up top as well, past the smoke. The path is just very, very difficult. So another advantage found here from 777, and it's X7 over towards the bomb site, and Havu aren't really exploring in response, seeing if they can get anything He's right back. And Ariel, oh, such a chance there to bring things closer, but it only continues to cascade this advantage for Triple Seven. Very tricky spot over here. They need to save these two weapons. Bomb has been not really something you can go for, Triple. An easy road forward. Yeah, I want to retract my earlier statement. I have accusing Rory of the guys of Gustav. Longer and the edge of the power, but now it's a fast play down into Hunt. You found a player. They will connect Rory to take down one Arcus oh. entry for the second. The awareness and entry passing is fantastic. Michael, this is exactly what I'm talking about. This is what you can expect from an Arcus team. An X7, he's gone in. Oh, he's gone for one. He's going for more. Avoiding the bomb plant as he's looking for the duels around. To be into a bit of winning ways. They're not going to track down these last two players saving here from Havu. But I like that there's a change of pace. Not for Arcus enough for what he can do with players, but right now there's duels taking place. None of them really materializing the kill oh. until Slowy finds one. He will not be able to move forward and recover the gun. X7's demise will secure the ramp, and with it, the B bomb site is their destination. But there are three players here to welcome them. The CTs. Well positioned, and Zori is just watching for anything but Jenny. Oh. Close range, a double dig. We'll find it, and suddenly it's a 2v4. Triple Seven might have just fallen into the trap of a force by victory from Harvu. Not even a force by, but a half by would save weapons. But Fletch still trying to fight his way out. Good track, fine. But Zori was continually aware of rotation pathing, and Fletch will now have to try and peek in. Shot goes for the re peek, but Zori. But aggressive at the same time there from Harvu. Very well coordinated between them, nonetheless. And what is Ariel up to, man? Fast towards the red container, the flash as well from Zori. He can uh, escape. And this is one of those those problem positions thus far for uh, Havu, has been this outside towards secret pathway yeah. that 777 have been throwing it a few times in these gun rounds. Thought the adaptation was going to be towards secret and try to get to those steps early, but instead just taking the fight right to them. Good response from Fletch, though, equalizing. 
Very interesting. Now, X7. Actually, Ariel will be able to find Mickey on those plot if they can get the bomb down. They're off to hell where they have reached the windows, but with X7 ready and waiting, they get one. Ariel from heaven now will come through three kills from now. Arcus, as he moves past, will be speaking to a direct off angle from Ariel who will went out in the duel again. The AWP is watching for him to peek inwards, but it doesn't seem quite likely. Zori, meanwhile, with a Molotov and a flashbang, will be afforded at least one opportunity to re-peek in. If he... Ah, well, that's not ideal. Stairs not working out. Jemmy to fall. Favor to find. He's used to come in. Great Molotov timing from X7. Though. Oh, what a oh. kill from Vibber. But Slowy and Ariel have found everything in the meanwhile. We may not have seen it, but I'm sure it was great. Oh, knock knock. <laughs> Zori. So far, you know, Fibber's been pretty solid. I think Flex has had his moments. Shemi might be about to have one of his own. Got one, but not two. Mickey with the train and slow it. On the back lines, coming through, coming in and refragging oh. repeatedly. His headshots are on point, and the AK is deadly in his hands. Oh. Just follows it up with three. Using the angle, it's just been triple seven with the way things have been going, but. A very aggressive feed coming out from Jemmy, but Ariel's the one to find Reuter. And Zori going for more. Okay. Down to a four on two. So just waiting to find where these Havu players are. Where are they up to? Oh, that's what they're up to. Slowly getting one. So now it's flexing the clock. Oh. If you can pull this one out, that would be the highlight of the tournament easily but he's not been given more than one for now 28 seconds as we flank. recover the bomb instead is watching for the flank and he is very careful but as he turns the corner x7 a bit of control has the potential to flank as well should he find the timing just right ariel's on the back as well he gets the kill through the smoke almost finding a second himself and he's being so disruptive triple seven trying to make it down secret zori in the meanwhile finds mickey and triple seven. Looking like they might be out of this half, but Faber would like to make a case for it at the very least. Utility quite low on them. They are very split apart as well, relying on a couple of pickoffs to be able to bring them into a doable situation without the smokes. It's of course very hard to actually break onto the A bomb site. You really would like a mini smoke, and Dory, well, he's just found another one, so. Triple seven aren't too happy. Amongst the two of them, they have. Oh. Well, now they just have 40 HP. Fletch, left low. We'll see the first player, but he's been scouted out himself. Slow is so well aware. And I have to say, Havu seem to be entirely ready for anything Triple Seven can throw their way. And the few rounds that they did end up losing, there were some great plays from Triple Seven. I don't want to take it. And they are going to try and go towards hell. Fletch does spot a couple of those players out, but he needs to win one of these duels. Finally, one comes in for Triple Seven, a second as well, but they're moving towards B now. That's a good reaction. Back to hell with three, but Reuter needs to find at least one in this situation. Good isolation. Crouching away to avoid the player in darkness, and as he will try to get the flick, he's just waiting for his teammates to come in. Zori, who had the deagle. Zori, trying to get quite a bit done. Now, the deagle purchase on one that I am not. Just rather one Molotov on Slowy. Not gonna be all too impactful, the difference that makes, but getting aggressive if you take note of. And just how much seven, triple seven are going to react off of this. Actually moving towards this push towards ramp. There's three players here for them. And Fred reveals himself. This is such a good read. Triple seven are walking in. They're trying to close in on the Havu side. But no one inside the A-bomb site. Molotov will at least keep these players at base. Slow is taking control. But he doesn't have teammates anymore. Mickey on the push. Finds X7 isolated from the rest of his team. And now Zori has to try and recover the bomb. Not much HP to work off of either. And in the off oh. angle, it's Mickey to make it three. Triple seven. I am loving this showing from them so far. And Snowy, he'll also be revealed. Good kill to have. And brings it back to inside Mini and waiting. And as Slowy peeks forward, he will be planting. Oh. He sees the shoulder and Fletch will get the frag. And maybe even leveraging that fact. They look very, very good thus far with the reactions they're pulling out side, but oh no, it's the oh. pistols here from Havu. Oh, that rush no. play down the vents, they found two kills already, got their hands onto those weapons as well. Ariel has a Mac 10, so likely to get aggressive and triple seven. They're tapping. 
A really important round on triple seven. It felt like they had to win this one. They were able to take it back to seven nine. To be done, oh. but they even the guns they can't save them. Sure, damage dealt is good, but Fibo now will be the only person to save this country. There wasn't enough money built up on the CTs. Now only a three round separation between them and success. That trying to go for a deeper peak, but X7 is open. Trying to push through onto this side. If they can catch the timing window and bring down Jemmy, that would be big. But as Jemmy turns, he oh. barely adjusted and Fletch will find the... That changes yeah. everything. Zori's going to have to use his own. Which is trying to cross, but there's a big gap. Zori uses it to find Fibbo. And now Zori's still on this lurk. Making sure that they cannot rotate down towards... The vents all too easily. There's a bomb site finding Mickey, and there's Reuter to at least get the trade. There is, it is still doable here for Triple Seven. They have a decent amount of utility. Really good calls, but Havu is just outgunning and outmatching them. And yeah. maybe this is more for a buggy team, even if it's been too much damage and getting there either. So they are very quick into this B bomb site. Bomb is already planted. Fletch will at least find one. So the retake will be at a man advantage, but Zori once again on the lurk is trying to come through and even that one out. X7 is the one to find the first. Jemmy, re-smoking it off, even trying to adjust the arc of the smoke so they don't know he's playing too close and can't really rush him down. At least that's what I think he did. But as the visit mate, it's slow on the back line. Jemmy's only good for oh. one. Reuter comes in with two on the entry. He's going to continue to move forward. X7 and Zori now have to try and play it out. Meanwhile, it's Mickey to find one and Zori alone will be swinging in. He's the first, connects oh. with him. Beautiful shot, going for more, but he can't get it done. Fletch with the AWP will find them the ninth, and it is. To see, but Havu, they are going for a bit more outside pressure once again. Aerials down towards secret. They found a frag here on Arquez. Kills on the lurker. Heavily relying on that, and Triple Seven have soaked up any information. Ooh. What a shot! Onto Arkes though. The movement from the CT is not coming back just yet. So they're waiting, and Mickey's got one. Could have been two, but can't transfer the spray. It's still a two on two as Reuter oh. will find Slowy in the back lines. It's back to back. Got situations for Harvu to pull out, but this time a much better setup. Fletch trying to get this angle on the AWP, spots the foot so knows the player is up close. This could be a really solid nade. 82 now on Zori. Even if he legs him, this should be crucial stuff. But Fletch, he's lost that chance. Now on the run here are Havu trying to play with him, make it a double peek as well. But Zori, as that flash blooms, Warrior had been dropped. The round would have likely been over there for Havu. If Mickey had been able to get a two man, that would have been big, but right now, and up the back of the pass, it's about whether 777 have a future. Time is running low for them as they are down to a three versus five, need a big play, and Fletch is trying to be the man who can make it. Not been too shabby so far. Marquez, well, he's not going to be given much to work off for his teammate will fall. A two versus five, increasingly likely that Havu can. Breeze through this one, and as Arcade is left alone, an ace might be too oh, much to ask, even the aspect of an AK. Aerial finishes him off. Havu will find.